Hey everybody, we're back if you're new. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon, and ah, that's Coco. <laughs> Click that subscribe button, please, and if you're not new, thanks for coming back. Y'all, today we are going to organize the makeup drawers, and I'm going to take y'all along with me. Possibly do a little bit of decluttering, who knows, but we are definitely going to organize and try to get our lives together. Let's get into it, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is the girl stuff. We need to get it out of the way, but I want to figure out where I can put this stuff, because I have no for it so I'm hoping we can fit it somewhere in here we're gonna try to organize this this drawer will probably stay the same because um, I still need to do a video on it and this drawer and this will probably stay the same because they're for Poshmark but I, I might organize it a little but that all those products will still stay in that drawer we can start with this one this drawer could be cleaned up a little bit but it's pretty much organized the way I would want it to be okay this actually is, is pretty well organized. This I just keep in here to light my candles. Um, I used this highlighter yesterday. It's Pink Glow from Bobbi Brown. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx for $17, but y'all, she is gore. Just like, just that shimmer. Um, so I didn't put that back yet. Let's put her away. Oh, another lighter. Um, we've got some Becca here. Let's see how we can make this look a little nicer. You know, I never use this outside of um, doing the video on the Prince collection. I never used that. Let's see, put that that way. I don't know where we're gonna put that. That's not gonna fit, so that's gonna irritate me. And let's just put the Bobbi Brown on top. This drawer was super simple, but y'all know I am a highlighter fan, so I don't let this get too messy. But my junk drawer here, we need to figure this out. Um, let's see. This is actually a highlighter that Leora sent me. So we can throw this um, somewhere. Oh, you know what? It'll fit in this spot. So we will put it right there. Haven't swatched it, but it does look pretty. So there's that. Um, this is lipstick that she sent me. So we'll figure that out. And then more lipsticks we need to, we'll figure that out. So we'll just move it up to the top. Um, I don't think, I, I never even use these brushes. This is, I just have this. Let's just, is this going to fit right here without pushing it? No, it's not. Blah. This is something else Leora sent me and I'm like, I don't know what drink charms are. Where do you, do you put these like on your straw or something? I don't know. We have a cushion bronzer. Um, I don't want to really put this stuff away because this is the drawer of stuff that I just haven't used. Um, and I want to try to use it. But then I haven't, I'm not actually getting around to using any of it anyway. Uh, let's just make this look nice. This, y'all, this is uh, like, I got this because I just felt like it looked so unique. Two different nail polishes. That's that's what we're doing for now anyway. Uh, but y'all, look, this is Andy Warhol. But look how cool that is. Awesome. So I have it, never used it. Let's just set that there. I think this might fit over. No, that won't. But this will fit over here. So we'll move this stuff here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. Let's just make this look nice and then no. I have this that we have to put. You know what? I'm going to leave this in here because I do, um, I want to display it or do something with it and it's cool. Um, I do want to use the highlighter, but I normally will come and dig into this drawer and grab different things. So I know eventually I'll use that highlighter. Let's pop this in here just because. Okay, I pulled those two drawers out. That last drawer is pretty organized, but we'll check that out in a minute. But um, we need to stuff all of these palettes in there. And then also, these are all of my Urban Decay Nakeds and my chocolate bars. I will probably leave these in here, um, but we need to, I don't know, do something with these two. Okay, so I've showed y'all these before, but I get them from, this is heavy, the bath section in Wall, oh shit, <laughs> in Walmart. Ah! They're $5. If you order them online, they cost significantly more, and I've only been able to find them in one Walmart. So um, I went on the hunt for more since we moved all of these palettes and are doing all this stuff, but they didn't have any, so I'll have to keep checking. But for right now, I think we're just going to put all of the bigger palettes. We have some Morphe and some Cara. We'll have to lay them down because I don't have anywhere for them to fit. We're going to figure this out, y'all.
Gonna figure out where to put all of these Cara palettes in here, hopefully. Okay, we're gonna take this and just shove this right here in the empty space. I think this drawer is pretty much done, but what I don't like is that when things are stacked like this, you kind of forget about them if they're at the bottom. So I will have to make it a point to remember to go through it, and I don't really like that, but it is what it is. Okay, I put the other drawer up. Now we're gonna start onto this one. I don't even know what this McDonald's toy trash. That's what happens when you have kids, people. That's what happens. I'm gonna push this stuff over. See if we can fit all of our trays. I only have four of them. Um, and if the pallets are smaller like this, then um, they'll fit. But if they're longer pallets like, um, not like this, but like a like an Urban Decay Naked palette or something like this, then they, definitely they're, you're not fitting four. Uh, let's organize this nicely. Okay, that's not the smallest. So go to smallest to biggest, however you say it. I think this palette is too tall to stand up. This graveyard girl obviously isn't too tall, so I still think this one is too tall. So uh, I think we actually might have an extra, an extra little divider. I mean, for five dollars, these are actually really good. When I look on Walmart's website, um, they're like twelve dollars. They jack the price up. Um, even if you're trying, they don't have like a pickup in store for it. So. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye out every time I go. I don't go often, but whenever I do, um, I will go upstairs and try to check it out. This should go over there. Yeah. No, but it looks dumb there. Let's do this. Crap, y'all. I forgot about a whole thing of pallets over here. That's not going to fit. Okay. Let's just do this here. We'll take these out. And so it looks like I have one. I'm actually putting the pallet back here and then pushing this back. And I can actually fit multiple Lorac pallets in these dividers. Um, maybe I will. And that's kind of a tight squeeze. That's uh, not that bad. Okay, we'll do that. Um, and then we're just going to line those up. I should use this more often. Let me look at it. Because she was beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave this out so I can put it on my desk because y'all gorgeous. I need to use this. So we'll leave that out. You know what? This was actually a really nice palette. It looks like someone has been swatching it, but um, she was actually really nice. It's the KKW and Mario palette. And then never used this one. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it. And then that's a holy grail right there. What else do we have? These look stupid because they're so much taller. Hate that. So we have this pretty much done. And then we have this thing here. I think I've showed y'all this before, but it's a Tarte eyeshadow palette thing. It's in like a box and it came, I think it was like a holiday set. And then this pulls out and you have, um, I think it's a highlighter blush thing. Yeah, highlighter blush bronzer thing happening. Um, I, I haven't used this in, I have, don't even know how long, but let's find somewhere this isn't going to fit. It's not going to fit. Okay, we're going to just have to set this here for now. I don't have anywhere to put it. You can't have it up like this, um, and it, there's not enough space for it to lay flat, so we're just going to have it at an angle. Let's do it this way, at an angle there. Um, that's the best we can do for now, but we do have two of these left now that we don't necessarily need but we have them so we'll try to put them to use okay this is the bottom drawer we don't need to touch it um this normally stays pretty organized if i touch any of these i put them back because they have a specific spot and then the loose um eyeshadows i normally never touch and pretty much all the stuff back here i don't touch any of it uh i will grab these occasionally but not not often and i always put them back in this exact 
exact order. Let's move on. Okay, here is the bottom drawer. There's just brushes in here, so we don't need to organize that. But then, oh crap. This drawer, let me lift you up some. This drawer is actually for my giveaways. Um, I just throw all the giveaway items in here. So we could organize this a little. Okay, so we have face masks, we have palettes. What is this? I don't know, a cleaning thing, more palettes. Um, a lot of stuff that really, it just gets thrown in here. Let's, let's clean it out. <laughs> These are super cute. I thought I had a pink one of these. I had a pink one somewhere, I thought. I know I bought one. Let's get all this stuff out, though. Okay, okay, we're just gonna set this on top of there. I mean, it's pretty organized. When I do decide to do giveaways, I just go and pick random things to try to make it like a good mix of whatever, skincare, makeup, eyeshadows, lipstick. Um, we could take this out. Okay, I think that is going to be it for this drawer. Um, it's not pretty, but it's a lot better and I can just go in and grab a few things. So at least I can get into this drawer and see everything. Let's see. This drawer we're not going to touch. Um, I've said it before and I still haven't gotten around to it, but doing a video on my makeup favorites. Um, so we're not going to touch that drawer. Okay. Here is my Poshmark drawers. It's these two drawers. Let's go ahead and pull everything out and then figure it out from there. Okay. This is all of it. Let's try to get the eyeshadow palettes together for right now. And then like, I know that this on Poshmark I have as a little bundle. So I would like to try to keep the bundle type of things together. And I have these on Poshmark too. And I'm like, why nobody is, <laughs> no one's buying them too. I think these two I swatched, these two I never used, but it's like, why, really, why would someone want to buy it when you end up having to pay like $7 shipping? I guess if like they bought multiple things, then that would be cool. But anyway, I have them here. So let's push them to the back since they're a lot less likely to sell. I've had them for a while. Um, some palettes here. These are too big, so we'll lay them flat. Let's go ahead and get through the rest of this. Yeah, this was so pretty. Let me stop and show you. I'm surprised no one's no one's bought it because it's actually gorgeous. And I don't know what I have it priced at, but I know that it's um, at a very good price compared to the retail. But look how gorgeous that is. So pretty. I actually think this is a giveaway item. I'm going to slide it in the giveaway drawer. This drawer is getting a little full over here, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'd say we did a pretty good job there. I mean, you got some stuff tucked away in the back, but everything is pretty organized, and we were able to fit all of this. Don't mind my, this is the kids. <laughs> Don't mind it. We were able to fit it all into one drawer, so that's good. Oh, this is my TJ Maxx drawer um, for my haul video. Okay, let's get all of this stuff into this second drawer because I feel like we have this space. Let's you know, get the things that we need in order. I kind of want to move um, this stuff over into this side also, like just switch drawers because this, I want to be like my main, I'll show you this whole thing, this one, I want to be the main focus and this is kind of just the carryover side. So anyway, let's get the rest of this stuff out of here and then we'll move this over here so there's that 
pack drawers on because this drawer had all of the um, Cara palettes in it and we emptied that. So let's organize this one. Coco is over there. Sorry, y'all, it's bright. Coco is over there doing her makeup. Yeah, yeah, just came in. Yeah, I forgot. I wanted to figure out where we were going to put that stuff. So let's let's finish this though and then we'll move on to the next. The Laura Lee palette back there. This I just want to organize. I do need to do my, my video on this so I'm going to get to it as soon as possible and then once I get to the video then all of this stuff will be put away either in the bathroom or whichever drawer like these are blushes so they'll go into the blush drawer that's done boom quick that was quick okay let's move back over to this side this is one of my blush drawers um this i ordered off of amazon this i think is just like a three tray thing that i got from um the dollar tree but it it does its purpose it serves its purpose there and then this is also a blush drawer but these stay pretty organized also so let's just pass those by just wanted to why do my drawers why are they so hard to push is it just mine or is anybody else's maybe it's just me it's hard i don't know it's hard that's what she said um then i have these i could actually put my naked palettes um onto this because we have one more of these so let's do that the chocolate bars oh no none of them are none of these oh yeah the chocolate bars are on one so let's put the naked palette and then of course i am going to be getting the um cyber palette although it's not something that i anticipate i will use it's not my type of color story but um because i have all of these you know i'm kind of obligated to shit i'm kind of obligated to get it right so um, I'm going to try to pick it up. I called all of my Ulta's and Sephora's today and it's just not, um, it's not, they don't have it and they don't know when they're going to have it. So there's that. It doesn't fit now. It all fit before and now it doesn't fit. What are we, what are we going to do with that? Okay. Let's think here. It's not fitting. We're going to take, we're going to take all of this out, put it back exactly how it freaking was. That was a fail but um we're just gonna leave this drawer the way it is and we'll stick this in here just because we have it um for whenever we might need it again this drawer just has some boxes patrick ta um a Ciate london highlighter all of this will go into the trash um, it's just, uh, this is just a makeup bag, but I can put this into the hall closet with the other makeup bags. Okay, this drawer has this crappy ass contour palette that we got from BoxyCharm this month. Um, an empty lipstick box from, uh, who is this? Pat McGrath. It is a more, it's one of those matte lip shades. I have no clue where it's at though. And then we have these, which I do like to use for my lipsticks and we do need to go through and kind of situation that whole thing because these three drawers are all lipsticks that really this, this um, whole lipstick situation, I keep saying that and it's weird, could use some love because um, we need to do something with this. And I swear I stashed some lipsticks somewhere else too. That's the foundation that I never use. Oh, yeah, damn, this, this all needs some love. And these aren't done, most of my lipsticks are done by the shade, whether or not these are lip balms, um, you know, like that type of thing. But these are just here because they're all Milani and they're all MAC and this is all YSL and Too Faced. So also the Jack and Sally coffee mugs are from Target last year. I think they were $10 each. If you like them, they are super cute, but I just got them for decoration. Anyway, uh, yeah. And then this is stuff that I just had like, oh, this is the, the lipstick Amore. Um, this is just stuff that I had on display over on that shelf over there those shelves there were two um this is that lip shade she is gore can we focus this is that lip shade it's not focusing but she's really super super pretty so um highly recommend that but we need to figure out a lipstick situation here yeah we took a quick break had to change yaya's diaper but we are back figuring out this situation. Honestly, I feel like I want to do a lipstick declutter soon. So 
I am not going to go through and organize all of it. I am just going to pull this closed. It will not close. I'm just going to put, <laughs> I'm going to put these back in here and I am going to throw the lipsticks in there and then we will divide them up by the color or I, I might put these back on display after Halloween and then um, we'll do our, our lipstick declutter later and then let's just dump all of these in there. These are two little eyeshadows that were in this drawer right here. I'm just going to put them in the bottom drawer of the dresser because that's where the individuals go. I don't remember how much these cost, but I think it was an obscene amount for just that little bit. You know what? Let's put these on the desk so I, I'll actually use them. Okay, this drawer. Um, my husband had me flowers sent for my birthday and I saved the little card. This is actually um, like my dad's pins from when he was in the military and Cora's food bowl. Uh, what is this? What the hell is this? Oh, you know what? This is the thing that Cora's ashes came in. Um, and they also came, well, the purple bag, but that wooden box right there is what actually had the ashes. And then it was inside the purple bag. And then this is a card from the um, animal hospital. So we just have this saved just because this is kind of like my little sad drawer, I guess, for right now. I never use this. Um, this doesn't show up on me, so we can get rid of that. Okay, y'all. <laughs> This I got, obviously it's way too dark. I wanted to try to use a foundation as a bronzer so that it wasn't so heavy, but this is way too red for me, so I just have it. Uh, let's throw it up here with the other foundations for now. This is the foundation drawer. Pretty much all the foundations I do not use, uh, but we have them. So we're gonna keep this drawer the way it is for right now. Um, You know what, let's just store our lipstick stuff and then this container in this drawer just because and then this is actually this whole cabinet is actually done um i don't like that these palettes are in this drawer because there's nothing but really like stuff i don't use or stuff for videos so why would i have this here that's dumb it makes no sense so let's figure some how many empty drawers do we have here that's not empty um, that's okay. So wait, we have no empty drawers in this one One okay this drawer we didn't go through it just has my perfumes. I did have them displayed um, Okay, I'm gonna say let's take this the perfumes and all of the makeup brushes that are down there put them into this drawer Just because why not this is this is Y'all I'm Yeah, I'm struggling here because I don't like okay let's backtrack this drawer down here I would rather it on that side and then I can put all my face palettes and everything in these last three drawers I'm gonna move the brushes to the perfumes I'm going to take the giveaway drawer and move it over here and then we'll have the last three drawers to put the face palettes that are, it's dark y'all, the face palettes in these last three drawers of this bin. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay y'all, I switched it all around. So top drawer is still foundation. Then we have this miscellaneous thing happening. I put all of the brushes and perfumes into this drawer here. And then this is empty. This is stuck empty. This is, oh. This is the TJ Maxx haul drawer. And then this is the video that I was going to film the giveaway stuff, and then Style Vana there at the bottom. And then down here we have the Naked palettes, the Chocolate Bar palettes, and then that one extra thing. And then these are empty, so we're gonna move our face palettes into there. Okay, so those containers are gonna hopefully go into these two drawers. Let's start with the face palettes. Um, really, we just have to transfer them, so it should be an easy, Task. Done, y'all. That's That was way too easy, honestly. Let's organize this so it looks a little bit nicer. Where is my Chrissy Teigen palette at? Maybe it's in my desk, but I love it and I don't see it in here, so that's odd. This is actually eyeshadow, face, everything, but it's just in here as like an overall face palette. Let's, let's organize this a little bit better. Let's lay them out so we can actually see them because we have the space to do that, um, so why not? Oh, 
here it is. So let's just set it on top of there. I don't love the way this looks. Okay, so this is what we have, and this is just how we're gonna leave it because I'm tired. Then we have this, and we have some setting sprays. Actually, I only have four, and I don't normally even use these, so where are we gonna put these? I feel like these could go in a junk drawer somewhere. You know what, let's actually just throw them in this drawer because honestly, I don't use any of these. I just have them, so at least that's out of the way. We have a bunch of primers here, some setting powders, and then, oh, this big old thing of um, bronzers. So, it's not gonna fit in there. Let's move into this drawer. Okay, this container doesn't fit this way, so we have to put it this way. I got it from the Victoria's Secret outlet, but let's go ahead and put our setting powders and stuff in here for now. See what works. And then we have some primers. Um, we'll just lay them along there. And then we have some little small ones that we'll throw in there. Okay, with the bronzers, we actually have these two that are face palettes. So I am going to just lay them in here so that they are out of the way. Let's figure out where we can put these. We've got some Fit Me foundations that I used as bronzers. This is actually one of my favorite bronzers. It's, um... Bali, I think? Yeah, Bali bronzer, but it's just so beautiful, y'all. Okay, so that is that drawer done. Let's go through all of this and get a recap. Okay, so recap. We have the highlighter drawer, which is normally very pretty. And then we have the junk drawer, or unused stuff drawer. This is a massive improvement, y'all. Massive freaking improvement. And then this is pretty similar to how it already looked. It just is a little bit more filled in. And then this drawer always looks this good. Lipstick drawer, which we did not touch. Another lipstick drawer, which we did not touch. I will do a declutter soon because clearly I have more than I need. Um, and then we'll organize this drawer also. Blush drawer, which normally looks pretty good. Another blush drawer, which pretty much always looks like this. Also, why do my drawers get stuck? Um, this, which we just saw, it's got a, everything slides also, but that looks way better. And I don't have to worry about all these containers now. This drawer, and then we had the naked and chocolate bar palettes down here and sprays. Same foundations that we never use. This is just a random drawer. And then perfumes and brushes. I did have my perfumes actually displayed on like one of those cases, but I don't have anywhere for the cases now. Empty drawer, empty drawer, TJ Maxx haul stuff that I need to do the video on. Look how hard it is. Um, other video, giveaway, and then Poshmark. I will link my Poshmark below. So that's all of it. Although, <laughs> we need to organize that. Um, this is Coco's side. So when you're wondering what Coco's doing, that's actually what she's doing. I am going to go through and organize these drawers, but I'm going to do them later because I'm honestly just really, really tired. But I'll give you a little peek into what is in my everyday makeup drawer. I don't have a makeup bag that I use, but my makeup drawer and then this is the other side but this is all stuff that I would use regularly and would be in those drawers and maybe not necessarily these palettes but the rest of this stuff would all be in those drawers but that's all of it okay thanks for hanging out with me y'all I will link everything below also if you like the contacts they are from just for Kira these are the alpha green shade I actually have four different shades coming in the mail thank you so much to them and I have a code for 20% off twins times two yeah let me look in the mirror really quick these contacts literally look like a filter like i've never had contacts that look like a filter even the blue ones that i had from them until one of the kids opened the case and did something with them and no one confesses to what happened even those those almost look like normal contacts that i've had in the past oh they're they're definitely more comfortable these look like they look like an instagram filter or a, a tiktok they look like a filter it's Tata. like like, it's like, yes, I almost feel like I could turn into a werewolf or something with it. 
with this. It's like you don't look human, but you look really good, you know? Anyway, twins times two for 20% off. I will link them below. You can check them out if you like. I'll link their Instagram too, but I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Anyway. If you haven't already, don't forget to Thank like, you. subscribe, Thank comment, you. share, Thank click you. the bell, Thank and all you. those good things. Bye! Bye. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> You're silly today.